Anitam, you were on a campaign trail with Vincent Pala. So, how's the mood around you? Is Vincent Pala all set for the upcoming election? How is Congress gearing up, Anitam? Absolutely, Priya. Um, the mood here absolutely is upbeat. Uh, there are a lot of people who have been turning up for the public rallies which have been going on, the meetings that the candidates have been uh, holding. In fact, uh, uh, being more specific about today's, uh, you know, how the campaign trail went as far as Vincent Pala, the Congress candidate for the uh, Shillong Lok Sabha seat is concerned. That was a very interesting uh, uh, poll campaign that, um, uh, that took place today. In fact, there were very few people there at the meeting which was held at an open ground near a local market at a place called Namdong. This is in West Jayantia Hills. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the whole idea was that even if not too many people uh, were expected to turn up, the whole idea was to have the loudspeakers do the talking. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the political leaders, Vincent Pala himself, uh, they all, uh, the Congress party leaders who were present there at the meeting, uh, they all uh, spoke about their plans, their uh, what they are, they are all their promises uh, for the Lok Sabha elections and if uh, what Pala will do if he is elected for the fourth straight time this time as the Lok Sabha MP from the Shillong seat. So they were uh, they ha held the meeting while only the party uh, you know leaders and the supporters were present there. But the whole idea being that people who were there in the market nearby and people who were there in their homes doing, uh, going about doing their daily activities, they could listen to what the promises were being made, what, they, what the party is going to offer this looks about election. So very interesting takeaway from today's uh, political rally as far as Vincent, uh, Vincent Pala's uh, campaign trail is concerned. Priya. Uh, so, Onitam, you know, can we expect a neck and neck contest between Vincent Pala and Emperor and Linda this election? You know, since you accompanied both the leaders during campaign, so how has been the response so far? Absolutely, Priya. It's going to be a tough tussle as far as Vincent Pala versus Amparin Lindo is concerned. I do not have to tell where their backgrounds. Vincent Pala already a three-time um, uh, Lok Sabha MP. He's the sitting uh, MP from the uh, Shillong seat. Amparin Lindo, five times MLA. She is the daughter of Peter G. Marban Young. She's the current, uh, in fact, Mr. Marban Young held the Shillong seat. Uh, he was a Congress candidate. He held the Shillong Lok Sabha seat twice. And uh, also, it's going to be interesting to see how the battle plays out because Amparin also is a former Congress uh, candidate. Hmm. Um, and she is currently one of the uh, key cabinet ministers in the Conrad Sangma led uh, Meghalaya government. Uh, Vincent Pala on the other side, he's just not the uh, three time sitting uh, MP from the Lok Sabha Shillong seat, but he also is the uh, Congress president of Meghalaya. Um, uh, Meghalaya Congress. Uh, so interesting, you know, things on both sides, uh, both equally heavyweights. I don't think it would be uh, wrong on our part to term the clash to be uh, somewhat like a clash of the titans as far as the Shillong seat. Amparin Lindo versus Vincent Pala is concerned. And Vincent Pala also, let us not forget, has served as a union minister earlier. So a uh, lot of things there, but let us also not forget that it's not just Vincent Pala and Amparin Lindo who are going to be in the fray this time around for the Shillong seat. We also have a professor from the Nehu University, that's Northeast Hill University. We also have a lawyer, Peter Shalam. Uh, it's uh, the professor from Nehu uh, is uh, Mr. Lekhon Kama. And also there are two more politicians who would be fighting for the Lok, uh, Lok Sabha seat, uh, Shillong seat this time round. One, of course, is the UDP, HSPDP uh, candidate. And also in the fray uh, is the VPP candidate, uh, Andrew Sinkon. Andrew Ricky Sinkon is also there. And the UDP, HSPDP candidate, Robert Kajirin. Priya. Yes, Onitam. Now let's uh, talk most importantly the voters, the masses. So what do they, the people of Meghalaya basically want from their elected leaders this election? You spoke to many of them, isn't it, since yesterday. So what do they exactly want, Onitam? Well, uh, the list is diverse. 
and uh, the list is long as well. So now, starting from you know access to easy healthcare facilities to good educational institutes, um, and you know of course uh, good roads, water supply in the city of Shillong because Shillong we all know is also a, a tourist hotspot. Then traffic issues in the city of Shillong. Border issue, issues for all those people living along the Assam Meghalaya border. So the list is diverse. While the political parties are also uh, promising them things like, of course, all round development, they are also promising uh, the inclusion of Khasi and Garo languages in the eighth schedule. This is something that the NPP has its on has uh, on its list, and uh, of course employment opportunities this is something that both the congress party and the npp are talking about in fact that is something that even the young youngsters of this particular state whether it's the rural uh, part of meghalaya or the urban side of meghalaya which is uh, shillong proper they all want better employment opportunities better quality of jobs education healthcare infrastructure overall development is what this time round, the people of Meghalaya are expecting. And of course, now that there are two women candidates in the fray from the NPP, the women folk also are expecting to get a better deal this time round. Priya. All right, uh, Anitam, thank you so much for all those uh, details.